summer and along with Paul's camp, how does it feel to finally make it game, game week? It was good. Um, you know, going in year three, um, it's pretty special. We got a special team this year. Um, you know, it was a special team last year, um, which is for all the, we spoke about it last year and things like that. But, you know, this year is, you know, it's a special year for myself um, and, 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 you know, for this team. You talked about wanting to get better. What does, like, what does getting better look like to you when you watch the tape back from, from practice? What do you want to see? Um, me then being disciplined. Um, I write down notes every day, daily notes. Um, you know that I want to. You know, want to get better at that day, um, and sometimes they repeat, you know, each day. Um, but you know, just just trying to get better at everything. Um, there's not there's not one thing that's you know that I'm great at. There's not one thing that I'm you know that I've mastered or anything like that. So you know, just just getting better at everything that I can. Um, you know, being the best that I can for you know my guys, and you know, trying to go win a bunch of games. So um, you know, we got we got a game coming up here, pretty big game, and uh, it'll be fun. What's been the key with trying to get Brendan to what he did in the Cotton Bowl to make that kind of the norm and kind of carry that over? Yeah, it's just consistency. Um, that's the biggest thing. Consistency, consistency, and uh, and uh, confidence. Mm -hmm. um, those are the biggest things in one in life and in, and, and especially in football. Um, it's being consistent and being confident um, that you know what you're doing. Uh, being confident that when the ball's in the air or when I'm throwing it, that it's going to be completed. Uh, when an offensive line, you know, does does a drop or does a run. Um, you know, if there's a run, he's, he's, he's slamming down with somebody and pancaking him, things like that. Just being confident um, in the scheme, you know, the game plan we have, and then, you know, going out there and making plays. He's talked before about how confidence is a big factor for him. You as his quarterback help him with that, help him sustain that confidence. Yeah, one, one when, you know, anybody wants, you know, when they do good, um, you know, to, to hear from someone, especially someone that, that they care for. Um, and, some, and, and someone that, that cares for them. And so, uh, you know, when he does good, you know, you, you love him up when he's, you know, when he's bad, not, not bad, when he does something bad. <laughs> um, when he does something bad, um, you know, you're, you're there to be on him and, and discipline him. You know, you don't, you don't go anywhere because your you, biggest thing is being consistent with him um, yourself as one of the leaders or as a coach or whatever the case may be, one of, your, one of the teammates. Um, you know, so it's, it's just being consistent with him and, um, and, and you know, just, just add more confidence to him and his game. Hey, Caleb. Two more. People in the NFL are already talking about you, yeah. comparing you to Patrick Mahomes, who's the yeah. best player in the league. And I know you got a whole season to play, mm -hmm. okay? But when you hear something like that, is it a source of pride at all, or is it just irrelevant? Uh, it's it's a lot closer to the irrelevant side. Um, there's a sense of respect um, to think that I mean, he's the best player in the world right now. Um, he does special things. Um, his teammates love him. Everybody in the world loves him. Um, he makes special plays. Um, and, 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 you know, the man has two Super Bowls. Um, so to be compared to someone like that, it's a sense of respect, but it's, it also is irrelevant because I'm Caleb, Caleb Williams. I'm here at USC, um, and I haven't even, I haven't even won a, a national championship yet. So um, it's respect and all, but, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's close to the irrelevant side. Caleb, Caleb. You, you, you talked about the concept of immortality yeah. after your Heisman speech last year. Mm -hmm. you, you talked about it on podcast yep. again kind of recently that they came out wanting to be immortal just curious what, what does that word kind of mean to you and what does that signify about your goals yeah, um, that's a on and off the field kind of thing, you know, helping out communities and things like that. But also, um, adding to that is, you know, you got to go on the field and, and, and make special plays, be special, and so um, you got to work hard day in and day out. Um, you know, immortality comes from championships and things like that, and um, I haven't reached one um, here in college yet. Um, and, and you know, we got a special special moment here this year to, to be able to go reach one. And so, um, you know, that's. You know, it's a it's a special word to me because it's a it's a word that you know you you, you touch rooms and your your name reaches rooms that you uh, you may never step foot in, and so um, and that's a that's that's important to me and I, I explain that to the team, um, and, and the coolest part about it and this is exactly what I said to them is that the coolest part about it is that um, after I said the championships portion it was it was um, you can't go win a championship by yourself so the cool thing about it and the best thing about about football and and ball and, and things like that is. You know, it's a it's a whole 110 players that's immortal with you, um, and, and the brothers that you work hard with, um, you know, day in and day out, spring ball, you know, workouts and, and summer, and now now going into the season. So, um, you know, that's it's a it's a it's a meaningful word for me. Um, it's something we're going to try and reach here this year. Great. Thank you, Caleb. Awesome. Thank you.